On this episode of South Hall Computing, we're going to be doing a wireless bridge on DDWRT and Tomato firmwares, and that's coming up next. Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing here today and we're going to be doing a client bridge, better known as a wireless bridge, with both DDWRT and Tomato firmwares on this Cisco E3000. So let's get right to it. Okay, 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 okay. So how do we configure this as a wireless bridge? Well, let's open up our web browser. Let's go ahead and connect to our router here. The default IP address should be this. And let's go to setup. Now on this one, it's all default. So I'm just doing admin, admin, and basic setup here. So first thing is first, set the WAN connection to disabled. Go ahead and give your router a name on the network so it's easy to find. And we're gonna change this to my subnet and we're gonna do this 192.168.8 and 1 and 192.168.8 and 1. Now before I go any further I can't have 1 as my IP address because that's what my router is gonna be so I'm gonna change that to 5 and another thing to note on this E3000, you'll uh, see that I'm using a way older version than the current version. Well, unfortunately, when you use this on the E3000, the newer ones have issues with the latest firmware. So that's why I did that. Over here, I'm going to assign the WAN port to the switch since it's no longer going to be used. Over here, I'm going to disable the DHCP server. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and send it to my time zone. Now we're just going to hit save and continue on here. Now if I hit apply settings I'll have to change my network card's IP address and all that fun stuff. So the important thing to remember here is don't hit applying settings or apply settings until you're absolutely done. Next up we're going to go to security and the SPI firewall we're going to hit disable and then we're going to go to the bottom save all right next up we're gonna go to wireless now I'm gonna do this over the 5 gigahertz band so we're gonna shut this guy off since we don't need him he's the 2.4 band and here we're gonna go change AP to client bridge I'm gonna change this to the wireless network name that I have uh, already set up here so this is tomato 5 gigahertz my channel I happen to know it it is 157 may not necessarily need that part matching the channels but it doesn't hurt we're gonna also disable the wireless SSID broadcast and again we're gonna hit save Next up, we're going to go to wireless security. And we're going to head over to my 5 gigahertz card. And my security here is the WPA2 on the test. It's also AES. And oh, you guys are going to love this password. Pew, 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 one, two, three. And we're going to save it. And lastly, we got to go over here to status and basically click on wireless to check on all your settings. And I gotta switch it to the 5 gigahertz. And I noticed a channel changed here. That's a bit odd, but we'll see if that affects our, our final results here. So now we're going to go to the bottom here where it says site survey. Oh, oh I forgot one thing here. Under wireless, and because I'm doing the 5 gigahertz card, I should also change the authentication type to shared key and then hit save. Then go to status and then wireless 
and change this to my 5 gigahertz card and I can check my settings to make sure I've done it properly. Next up you're going to hit site survey and basically you're going to find your network there and then you're going to hit join. And then it says it's successfully joined as a client. Say continue. It'll take you back to the basic wireless settings and now what you need to do is hit apply settings. So probably the best thing to do in this situation here is just take the cable, unplug it from your router, give it a good 10 or 15 second count, and then plug it back in. Just have to wait for this icon to come back up over here, and if it's all good, we should be able to communicate with our router on that new IP address that we set. So let's go to 5, oops sorry, that should be 8.5. Excellent, and let's see if we have internet. Perfect, so we have successfully created a wireless bridge on this E3000 with DDWRT firmware. Next up, we're gonna be doing the same exact thing with a tomato firmware. We'll be right back. Okay, so now time for the wireless bridge on the tomato firmware. First thing we're going to need to go to is into basic and we're going to have to do similar settings like we did before. So for this here, because it's on a different network, I want to change this to match mine. So I'm going to say eight and we're going to disable the DHCP server there. And you'll see that this is actually going to be a lot easier than the DDWRT. I'm doing the five gigahertz band again and network mode, oops, sorry, uh, right here. And what we're gonna select is wireless ethernet bridge. We do that. The SSID for this here was tomato 5G. Security was the WPA2 personal. Uh, AES, shared key again was pew, 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 one, two, three. And then we're gonna hit save. Oh, before we do that, did I? Ah, see, I almost made a big mistake here. That needs to be five. Good thing I remembered that. And let's save the settings. So I forgot to uh, add a couple things here. I don't know how I completely missed that, but I forgot to put the gateway, which is my router as well, as well as the DNS server. So let's put that in and that should be all she wrote. And there you have it. If all's well, you go to the status overview page there and you can see on the very bottom that we're connected to our Wi-Fi. And let's see, can we go to a website? And yes, we can. And there you have it, folks. As always, if you like what you see here, hey, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, give it a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated and helps me out in a big way. This is Dan from Southall Computing, and as always, until the next time.